So ESPN is reporting that our man Kevin Durant, or not really, I don't know about Kevin Durant, but that the Warriors themselves are interested in bringing back and having a reunion with Kevin Durant and that they can offer an intriguing package including Jordan Poole, Andrew Wiggins, James Wiseman for Durant. This is all from Adam Wells. He, so Adam Wells writes this on Bleacher Report, but yet this is coming from Mark J. Spears as well as Adrian Wojnarowski and Brian Windehorse saying that the Warriors are interested in a Kevin Durant reunion. I don't believe this. You really, over here, Warriors fans, tell me down below, do you guys want Durant back? And if Durant's so butthurt about his legacy, why would he return to the place where everyone says his legacy was ruined? I feel like that's counterintuitive for the whole reason that he's saying that he wants to come in. So maybe, maybe I'm the one who's wrong here and I'm overthinking this, but for me, I think this whole thing's interesting and it it's fishy because do you guys think this has validity? I mean, first off, obviously the Warriors were again become probably the favorites to win multiple titles in a row. And we wouldn't be able to do anything about it except watch and laugh and see them just repeat history. But at the same time, it just doesn't make any dang sense for him to return. Maybe that's just me. Like, it makes sense if you just want to win a bunch of titles. But I feel like even the Warriors fans would just be like, nah, we don't want him back. We want to keep the young guys. That's how I see it. I rather, because if you bring him back, you're basically screwing over the potential future from, because if you keep the guys you have right now, you potentially can extend the dynasty past you know curry's prime but if you go for kd you're just cashing in and then they're all going to get old together and all die at the same time but if you keep it with a mix of young guys and old guys it's going to last a lot longer in my opinion maybe you know again i'm just a guy sitting in my bedroom talking into a microphone and that's definitely where I want to hear your guys' thoughts. What do you guys think of this? Like, I think this whole situation is interesting because you think about this. Look, first off, the problem is with this is that I think KD wants his legacy to be rebuilt. And him going to the Warriors would just be the ultimate thing just to continue furthering and hampering his, his legacy. B, I think he... he He's won the championships, and I think he wants to win, but I think he wants to have fun, and he wants to be beloved. And he wasn't beloved in Brooklyn. I, that's why I keep thinking either going back to OKC or going to Washington with the Wizards going home make the ma most sense legacy-wise. Obviously, going to the Warriors arguably makes the most sense winning, and they could give him a great package. But if I'm the Warriors, I'm not giving up Jordan Poole. I'm not giving up Andrew Wiggins and all the picks and james wiseman that'd be wild i mean first off the nets would look and the thing is is with this being reported it's crazy and also they're saying that the package could also be a jordan pool andrew wiggins jonathan kaminga and james wiseman so basically the four brightest young players on this team and andrew wiggins established himself as one of the top 30 players in the nba arguably the top 25 player in the nba and yeah, like, I think it just kind of makes you confused. So what is true? What isn't true? Okay, and why? Why is this happening? Is it going to benefit anybody? I don't know, man. I think it's all, all very interesting. We'll just see how it all comes to fruition. Time will tell what happens. But that's basically my thoughts for this. I have an NFL channel. Link is in the description. I just posted a Baltimore Ravens video. But I also have an NBA show. Monday through Friday will be... I don't know if we'll, we're not live tomorrow. Tomorrow's the 4th of July. But Tuesday this week we'll be back at it. And you guys should check it out. Subscribe to it. We're almost at 300 subscribers on that one. We're also on all the streaming podcast forums. But it's an internet show. We just put it on podcast. Check that out. A lot of fun. That's basically all we have today, guys. We're milking this to five minutes because you got to pay the bills. And that's how you pay them here. So I love y'all.
Puppies. Oh.